Helix. Michael, how often are undergraduate professors in higher education absolutely wonderful subject matter experts, but don't have much, if any, specific teacher training at all? When I was working on the pedagogy course design for what I do here at FSU, one of the things that I did was go through all the PhD granting institutions for classics in the U.S. and I emailed every department that listed a pedagogy course to get more information about it. And actually, in a lot of those cases, those courses are what are called ghost courses and that they were offered at one point but are not offered on a regular basis now. What have you seen from a results standpoint uh, in terms of what your students are getting out of this, not only improving the quality of their teaching abilities, but also in what you're seeing in terms of their overall job marketability for having these skills. Because of the number of graduate students that are going on to try their hand at academia, the market is more competitive for those jobs. And it's not only a matter of saying, I can teach this course, it's so much better to be able to say, I did teach this course. And so we not only provide the training in pedagogy for these students, but we make sure that they actually teach a variety of courses at their time at FSU.